burn lights and very often you see I'm sharing this with you so you would understand that very often people father burn a light burn a light I'm going to put a light put a light well all we have to know why and how and so on burning light in the sanctuary sanctuary of the Lord is an act of reverence so sometimes I encourage you at home you know you're going to pray you have that sacred space and you put your light but be careful please huh? I use an electric light because you know to use the candle and so on could be a bit it could you know you could burn down the house we don't want that so be cautious be careful be prudent burning light in the sanctuary is an act of reverence for the for Almighty God Christ gave us a light of the word Jesus I hold this light because I want to keep close to you Exodus chapter 27 verse 20 Exodus chapter 27 let us verse 20 aha uh -huh. you will order the Israelites to bring you pure pounded olive oil for the light pure olive oil for the light and to keep a lamp burning all the time keep your light burning all the time that constancy right we keep that light burning all the time Leviticus chapter 24 verse 2 Leviticus chapter 24 verse 2 order the Israelites to bring you crushed olive oil and to keep a flame burning continually so continually burning brightly keep that lamp burning 1 Samuel chapter 3 1 Samuel 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 3 the lamp of God had not gone out and Samuel was lying in the sanctuary of the Lord where the ark of God was so dear friends as we study light keep in mind the beautiful passages Exodus chapter 24 verses 20 to 21 Leviticus 24 verses 2 to 4 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 3 and tomorrow please God we continue with this exciting topic the light Christ, the light of the world.